Hi everybody, this video will help you to record the bass guitar part for the chorus of The Goodness Project. So we'll start by tapping on the cross at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And uh, even though it's a bass and there are there is an instrument called bass in this version of GarageBand, um, I'm going to use the smart piano. And you notice from when we've done the piano, it, it remembered the chords uh, that I'm, I'd like to use the most. Um, so uh, the first thing I'll change is the, is the instrument because we need to choose our bass guitar. So tap on the grand piano and from the left column, choose other. And from the right column, you've got a choice of, uh, of guitars and bass guitars. I'm going to choose Liverpool. It's a sound that uh, I, I enjoy using quite a lot on this version of GarageBand. And then press done. And I'm going to mainly use the lowest of the strips. So right at the bottom of each strip. And uh, that's uh, how I'm going to play this instrument. Now, as much as there are, it's still going to uh, follow the same four chords as the piano is following, there is one of the chords in the lead sheet that's written as E flat slash G or E flat over G. And what that chord actually means is it means for the band to play an E flat but the bass note to be a G at that moment. Now we don't have a G here, um, so I'm going to create one in the chords. So tap on the settings wheel at the top corner, go to edit chords and change this to a G. There's the G uh, and then just press done. And, uh, and so that section is going to go A minor, G, so you've got to be a little bit careful of that. Otherwise, all of the, um, the, the other chords start at exactly the same time as the piano. And that's going to be really important because rather than thinking about these as tracks, think about them as real people standing in a group together and playing together. And if they all play the same chord at the same time, it'll sound really good. And if they all play different chords at the same time, it won't. It'll sound like a disaster. Um, so that one of the reasons that musicians look at each other, and it's very helpful to do that, um, is uh, so that we can communicate when is the exact moment we're going to change chord. When, if anybody changes chord together, if everybody changes chord together, it'll make the music sound much neater. So we're going to try that now. So I'll try to record this bass part. I will sing of the goodness of God. that in that pattern that rather than just keeping playing just one note held down or rather than playing crotchets like I had in the piano I decided to create some a little bit of variation so you can even see the pattern on the screen and the green block where it says Liverpool you can see where I've played a little bit of a rhythm uh, the way to perfect that rhythm is just by listening to the other parts and imagining what rhythm would fit nicely with what else you've got um, already playing there uh, that comes with practice and that comes with playing over and over again before you record. And then once you find a pattern that you like, then record it and then edit it to make it fit perfectly. So the shortest note value I used there was a quaver. So in my mix window, I go to track settings, quantization, straight. And notice it didn't work it out for me. That possibly meant that I wasn't accurate enough. So if I choose one eighth. Um, it's, I'm going to trust it that it did it right, but I'm, I'm, I'm not just going to trust it, I'm going to listen to it as well, which is really important. And just like we did before with uh, when we recorded the piano, uh, I'm going to begin by just soloing the bass part um, and the piano part, because I want to make sure that they fit together and sound nice together. So let's listen to it.
piano. So following exactly the same chords on the lead sheet as I did for the piano, but just playing it on a different instrument and using the, the chord strip slightly differently. Let's listen to it one more time with all the instruments together. <laughs> very nicely together so there we go folks for the goodness project this is how to record the chorus bass part <laughs> 